Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool 202 rotary desk telephone with an E1 handset and a bell box that is attached to this telephone. This is Doug's equipment from Nevada and this is the initial checkout of this telephone and bell box. And there is a note with this unit but basically what has happened to this telephone uh, Doug said his dog chewed the telephone cord, the cloth cord for the line cord that goes to the bell box and the handset cord that goes to the telephone so he basically chewed all the cords and he's had this telephone for a very long time and he purchased this telephone and it was connected to this bell box and the bell box is obviously not as old as the telephone but both units have some age on them and what we want to do since this is the initial checkout is show you our cords now this cord coming from the bell box that went to the telephone has been cut or chewed through and we're going to be replacing that. This is the cord for the handset to the telephone that's been chewed and so they're both loose and we want to give you a look at the E1 handset. Now while the telephone is in the shop we want to go through everything on the telephone. The rotary is a little sluggish. We want to go through our handset. We want to make sure that that's working properly. I have the cover loose to the 202. It's in very good condition for its age. It's a very cool telephone. Now there has been some work done to this unit before Doug purchased it. It's had a network installed in the unit and someone has done that years ago. Now we want to go through our rotary like we mentioned. I want to make sure that that's cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. We have a network that someone has installed into this unit. Give you a look at that. Now one thing that we want to change for sure, we're going to go through the network uh, they were using this telephone before the cords got chewed, but I do not care for this type of a connection point. They were using them years ago. Uh, the phone company, uh, I believe, were using them also. And basically all it is is two spade connectors that get trapped in this little box here. And that's good for bad connections. So that's what that looks like inside. And so your little connection point here, which clips together, is supposed to, we're going to set that to the side, it's supposed to keep these two connectors together, these spade connectors, and I don't like those type of connection points. Uh, they are famous for giving you static. They also have bad connections and we're going to repair that for sure. So what we want to do is we also want to go through the hook switch and then and take a look at our network. Now we also want to show you the bell box because we're going to set up this unit the same way that Doug has always used it. And we have that loose also. This is a bell box that you would associate with like a Western Electric Princess telephone. This was the type of uh, bell box that you would usually get when you ordered a Princess telephone and I want to show you the inside of this bell box. And that gives you a look at the inside of the bell box. Now they have the cloth cord running through the modular port for the bell box and 
we're going to disconnect all that. We're going to actually have a modular port plug on our cloth cord that we're replacing. So we'll plug right into that modular port. The other modular port is for the line cord that would go out and plug into a normal modern day jack. So we're going to go ahead and get a start on this unit and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool 202 rotary desk telephone with an E1 handset and our bell box. So we'll take that short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this 202 rotary desk telephone and bell box and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. Now earlier in the video we showed that they had added a network in the past and that they were using a connection block and what you do is you take two spade connectors and you put them inside this little connection block and then you close the door on it and we're going to change that because they are known for bad connections and we don't want to use that. We want a physical connection with solder. So we're going to use a solder connection. We'll be soldering our connections together and that way you can be assured that uh, there will be no bad connection. So we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. Now we also checked some of the connection points and we have uh, a lot of uh, the wiring loose right now but we know how they wired the unit into our telephone and what their connection points were and what we found was this connection between the network and our points and our rotary was not proper what they had done is the telephone was working but it actually was not working properly you want a little feedback in your receiver that's called side tone and they had wired this telephone where when you talk into the transmitter you did not get a little feedback into your receiver and you're supposed to have a little feedback it's just natural that's so you don't start yelling into the telephone if you just picked up a handset and you started talking in it and you could not hear yourself in the receiver a little bit which is the feedback then they noticed in the uh, old days that you would start yelling into the transmitter and you know some people would do that some wouldn't some just talk at a normal level but uh, you're supposed to have feedback into the receiver it's natural and it uh, reassures you that your equipment is working right uh, and you can hear yourself it's almost like a monitor and so you'll see people in radio they'll have headphones on and uh, pilots they'll have headphones on and when they talk on the radio there's a little bit of feedback in their headphones they can hear themselves talk it reassures them that the equipment is working properly so what it all comes down to is the telephone was not wired properly and now we've set the unit up when we finish up our wiring where you have a little feedback into your receiver and you can actually monitor what is going on so we're gonna straighten that part out the telephone worked it just it did not work properly so we're going to repair that issue and take care of that and rectify what was going on. And you will have some feedback in your receiver now, like you're supposed to. If you pick a telephone up and you blow into the transmitter, you can hear in the receiver what's going on. Now, cell phones are a totally different situation. With cell phones, it's a totally different story that feedback is created artificially it's not a side tone per se 
we'll go ahead and get the wiring straightened out and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool 202 and bell box. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair of this 202 rotary desk telephone and bell box. We're going to run through a little bit about what went on and then we'll start our final checkout. Now earlier we showed that years ago someone had installed a network in the telephone and they suppressed the feedback or side tone for the audio on the receiver capsule. And when you talk into a handset and you don't have any feedback, it just does not sound natural. So that was taken care of. That issue was resolved. We also installed a cloth handset cord and a cloth line cord that goes to the bell box. Now that cloth line cord was hardwired into the bell box when the telephone came in. Now we have a modular port plug for the modular port and you can simply unplug it at any time. And then on the other side of the bell box there was a modular port that goes to a line cord that can go to any modern jack. So the bell box can be removed from the telephone if need be. And that is all plug and play now. We also went through the rotary. That was cleaned, oiled, and adjusted. And we have a nice, smooth return on the rotary now. We went through the connections for the transmitter and receiver. They were cleaned. And any wiring issues were taken care of. So we went through the entire telephone. We also tightened up the cradle was loose and it kind of rocked back and forth a little bit and so that was secured like it's supposed to be. So now what we want to do is we want to talk about our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver on our checkouts. Now I have an amplifier back by the video and I have a button on it and I can push that button and give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since there's been some storms and it's an amplifier that can make the atmosphere noisy. And with any kind of an amplifier that's open uh, when it's on, you can hear some humming. And I'm going to go ahead and push the button while we're not checking anything and the video may pick it up, it may not, but you should be able to hear a slight hum. And I'm going to go ahead and push that button right now. And it's just kind of an open noise atmosphere sound. And that's because there's a lot of noise in the atmosphere at this time. And I just want to show that while we're checking the telephone out, that it's not the telephone humming, it's the amplifier. Now, we also want to talk about line voltages. This is an older telephone. It has an older diaphragm style receiver and the older F1 type transmitter. The older telephones will pull more voltage out of the line than a newer type telephone. And as long as your line voltage is proper, this telephone should be just fine to use. But if the line voltage is low, you could have issues. So we'll go ahead and start our final checkout. Now we'll use the analyzer and ring the bell box. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit 
into the handset, if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <whistles> hello, hello. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that the bell box is ringing in on our ring cycle, we're dialing out, we have transmit and receive, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll call that number. Cloudy skies and becoming partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms highs in the lower 70s. Cooler tonight, clear skies, lows around 50. Sunny on Friday, then becoming partly cloudy highs in the mid 70s. We can hang our unit up. We'll give you some dial tone and we'll call my number and it'll be busy. our unit up. Now that we know that this 202 rotary desk telephone and bell box has been repaired, we can return it to Doug and he can enjoy this equipment again. I don't think he's been able to use it for a while. It's been a few years, he said, and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where this telephone is in use. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair. A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.